Hi there, I'm John McAdams, founder of the Big Game Hunting blog. In this video, I'm going to do a detailed analysis of the 6.5 Creedmoor and how it compares to the 308 Winchester cartridge. Now, I think that most shooters would agree that the 308 Winchester and the 6.5 Creedmoor are both fantastic cartridges for competition shooting. Now, while the 308 Winchester has been around for a long time and also has a well-deserved reputation as an effective cartridge for hunting a variety of big game, many hunters are skeptical of the capabilities of the comparatively new 6.5 Creedmoor as a hunting cartridge. Unfortunately, there's a lot of marketing hype uh, to blame for here, as well as just a few genuine misunderstandings regarding the capabilities of the 6.5 Creedmoor that complicate this discussion. For that reason, it's easy to understand how many shooters and hunters get confused about the strengths and weaknesses of these two cartridges for hunting. So what's the real deal with hunting with the 6.5 Creedmoor and the 308 Winchester? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. And in this video, I'm going to discuss the pros and cons of the 308 Winchester and the 6.5 Creedmoor so you can decide which one will work best for the type of hunting you plan on doing. First, we'll start with a brief history of the 308 Winchester and the 6.5 Creedmoor. Now, the story of the 308 Winchester begins right after World War II when American military leaders decided to replace the venerable 30 6 Springfield cartridge and M1 Garand rifle. Though the cartridge and rifle performed admirably in the hands of American GIs, military leaders wanted a new rifle with a detachable magazine that was capable of fully automatic fire, similar to the Soviet AK-47 or the German STG-44. After several years of development and testing, the Army replaced the M1 Garand with the M14 rifle chambered in the new 7.62x51mm cartridge. Like the 30-06, the new cartridge also fired a 308 caliber bullet. However, due to advances in powder technology since the introduction of the 30-06, the 7.62x51mm cartridge used a shorter case that was 51mm long instead of the 63mm long 30-06 case, but at the same time, it had virtually the same ballistics as the original 30-06 load. Now, around that same time, the leadership at Winchester saw a lot of potential for commercial success in the civilian hunting and shooting markets with the new 7.62x51mm cartridge, and so they rolled out the extremely similar 308 Winchester. In short, the 308 Winchester could do virtually everything the 30-06 Springfield could do at the time with up to a 180 grain bullet. But the new cartridge could fit in a short action rifle and had a slight edge potentially in accuracy over the old 30 6 as a result, the popularity of the new 308 Winchester cartridge gradually increased as hunters and shooters realized the inherent accuracy, efficiency, and power of the new cartridge. For these reasons, the 308 Winchester was one of the most popular short action rifle cartridges for many decades and eventually became the standard against which other short action cartridges were judged. And indeed, many of the other really popular short action cartridges like the 243 Winchester, 260 Remington, and 7mm 08 Remington were all descended from the 308 Winchester. Now, though the 308 Winchester was a very popular and effective cartridge for high power competition shooting for many years, Dave Emery and Dennis DeMille saw an opportunity to build a new cartridge that outperformed the 308 Winchester in the early 2000s. Specifically, they wanted a cartridge that was just as accurate as the 308 at, at long distance, but with less recoil, less wind drift, and a flatter trajectory. With that in mind, they modified a 30 Thompson center case to shoot .264 caliber bullets. The cartridge had a relatively large case capacity optimized for use with 4350 class propellants, and they built the accompanying rifle with a relatively fast 1 and 8 inch rifling twist rate. When all was said and done, the new cartridge could accommodate long, heavy, high ballistic coefficient bullets in a short action magazine without intruding into the powder column. Named the 6.5 Creedmoor in honor of the Creedmoor matches, Emery and DeMille were quite successful in their goal of building the ideal competition shooting cartridge. Now, the 6.5 Creedmoor does not have eye popping ballistics, but it has minimal recoil, is very accurate, and uses high BC bullets that retain energy and resist wind drift exceptionally well. For those reasons, the cartridge has seen a great deal of success in the hands of competition shooters and has recently made the jump into the mainstream hunting community. Now, let's talk about the external dimensions of the 6.5 Creedmoor and the 308. Now, the 308 Winchester has a slightly longer case length, but the 6.5 Creedmoor has a little bit longer overall length. 
However, since both cartridges are used in short-action rifles, they have very similar external dimensions. Both cartridges have the same .473 inch rim diameter, can hold almost the same amount of powder, and they have the same SAMI maximum average pressure of 62,000 PSI. Now the 6.5 Creedmoor also has a sharper shoulder angle and a slightly less tapered case than the 308. Now those traits allow the Creedmoor to use very long high BC bullets without sacrificing case capacity. And as I stated earlier, the 308 Winchester uses uh, .308 caliber bullets while the 6.5 Creedmoor utilizes smaller .264 caliber bullets. Now those small changes do make a pretty big difference when it comes to ballistic performance. When doing an apples to apples comparison of the two cartridges, that is to say, comparing two bullets of the exact same type in relative weight, right, light for caliber or heavy for caliber bullets for both cartridges, the 6.5 Creedmoor and the 308 have a very similar trajectory out to about 300 yards. However, the 6.5 Creedmoor does have a slightly flatter trajectory overall, especially out at 400 and 500 yards and even further. Now this is due to the fact that the 6.5 Creedmoor fires a lighter bullet with a higher ballistic coefficient and a higher muzzle velocity than comparable 308 Winchester loads. So for instance, 120 grain Nosler E-tip and 143 grain Hornady ELDX bullets from the 6.5 Creedmoor have less bullet drop and hit about 4.5 to 6.5 inches higher respectively than the 150 grain E-tip and the 178 grain ELDX bullets from the 308 at 500 yards. Now the 308 Winchester does start off with a big advantage in kinetic energy with those same bullets though. However, by 500 yards, the ballistically superior 6.5 millimeter bullets help narrow that gap in kinetic energy considerably. The superior ballistic coefficient of the bullets used by the 6.5 Creedmoor also helps give that cartridge a moderate advantage over the 308 Winchester in terms of wind drift. At 500 yards, the 308 Winchester E-tip and ELDX loads drift about 2.3 and 3.3 inches more, respectively, than the comparable 6.5 Creedmoor loads. Now, however, that advantage isn't as pronounced at 500 yards as it is at longer range. Now, since this video is focused on the performance of these two cartridges for hunting, I won't go into great detail about wind drift or trajectory figures past 500 yards. But just to give you an idea of how much the 6.5 Creedmoor advantage grows during long range shooting, that 6.5 Creedmoor ELDX load drifts about 70 inches at 1,000 yards with a 10 mile an hour crosswind. That's about a foot and a half less than the 87.4 inches of wind drift that the 308 Winchester ELDX load gives you at the same range. Now let's talk about recoil though. Now, though the 308 Winchester is a relatively mild recoiling cartridge itself, especially compared to other 30 caliber cartridges like the 30-06 and 300 Win Mag, the 6.5 Creedmoor has a big advantage in this area. For example, when fired from identical rifles, that 178 grain ELDX load from the 308 Winchester has about 33% more free recoil energy than the 143 grain ELDX load from the 6.5 Creedmoor. Now, most shooters should be able to handle the recoil of both cartridges, but the Creedmoor does have a pretty significant edge in this respect. Don't underestimate the impact that recoil has on the ability of a person to shoot accurately either. Regardless of how well a given person handles recoil, all other things being equal, they will absolutely shoot better with a milder recoiling cartridge. Now, the 6.5 Creedmoor also has an advantage when it comes to bullet selection. Since it was originally built for competition shooting, the cartridge was specifically designed to use the longest and heaviest 6.5 millimeter bullets available. Now the cartridge most often utilizes bullets in that 95 to 160 grain range with 120, 129, 140, and 143 grain bullets being the most common. Now as I covered earlier, those longer and heavier 264 caliber bullets have a higher ballistic coefficient than the most common bullets used by the 308 Winchester. They also have the higher sectional density. Now sectional density is a measure of the ratio of the diameter of a projectile to its mass. All other things being equal, a heavier projectile of a given caliber will be longer and therefore have a higher sectional density and consequently probably penetrate deeper than projectiles with a lower mass and sectional density. But once again, this is all other things being equal. For instance, it's very uncommon to find 308 loads using bullets heavier than 180 grains. Now a 180 grain 308 caliber bullet has a sectional density of 0.271.
However, 143 grain .264 caliber bullet has a sectional density of .293, which compares favorably to the most common 308 caliber bullets. Now that being said, the 308 Winchester uses a larger diameter bullets and consequently has about 36% more frontal surface area than the 6.5 Creedmoor. Now all other things being equal, a bigger bullet will make a bigger hole, cause more tissue damage, and result in more blood loss for whatever animal gets hit by that bullet. Now both cartridges have a long and distinguished history in the competition shooting realm and both cartridges are extremely accurate in the right hands at typical hunting ranges. However, the 6.5 Creedmoor most likely has a slight advantage in terms of accuracy as well. In short, since it was specifically designed as a competition shooting cartridge and utilizes .264 caliber bullets, there is a bigger selection of high BC and high sectional density match grade hunting bullets available for the 6.5 Creedmoor. Now that's not to say the 308 isn't accurate or there aren't a bunch of good quality bullets available for it. It's just that the overall design of the 6.5 Creedmoor gives it a little bit of an edge over the 308 Winchester. So where do we stand overall with both cartridges? With a flatter trajectory and less wind drift, the 6.5 Creedmoor does have a definite, though not gigantic, advantage over the 308 Winchester in external ballistics at typical hunting ranges. This makes the cartridge more forgiving of range or wind estimation errors than is the case with the 308. It also has less recoil as well as a larger selection of high BC match grade hunting bullets. All things considered, the 6.5 Creedmoor is a cartridge that helps maximize the shooting abilities and maximum effective range of the hunter to a little bit greater extent than the 308. Now, proper shot placement is extremely important when it comes to ethically taking game, and the aforementioned strengths of the 6.5 Creedmoor all facilitate good shot placement. Now, finally, the high sectional density bullets used by that cartridge also assist with penetration to help the 6.5 quote unquote punch above its weight in a manner similar to cartridges like the 7x57 or 9.3x62mm Mauser cartridges. Now, on the other hand, the 308 carries more energy downrange than the Creedmoor, and it does have a big advantage when it comes to frontal surface area. Those traits give hunters a tiny bit more room for error in shot placement when compared to the 6.5 Creedmoor. And additionally, the cartridge probably has a little bit more killing power as well. Now, it might seem like I'm splitting hairs here when talking about the strengths and weaknesses of the 6.5 and the 308. That is absolutely true. While they certainly have different advantages, both are very accurate, relatively flat shooting, and they hit hard enough for use on a variety of game out to several hundred yards. Regardless of whether you're using a 6.5 Creedmoor or a 308 Winchester, no pronghorn, deer, or elk will go far if you put a well-constructed bullet into the vitals. Now let's talk about ammo and rifle selection for these two cartridges. Now the 308 Winchester is extremely popular among hunters and shooters in the U.S. and indeed the rest of the world, and it consistently ranks as one of the best-selling cartridges in the country. In a typical year, the 308 is usually ranked number two in raw ammo sales right behind the 223 Remington. Now that said, the 6.5 Creedmoor is no slouch in this regard either, and it is also extremely popular. Now the 308 is still probably a little ahead of the 6.5 in terms of popularity, but I would still say that the 6.5 is in the top 10, maybe even in the top five most popular cartridges in the United States. Now, for this reason, the big ammo manufacturers like Barnes, Berger, Federal Premium, Hornady, Norma, Nosler, Remington, and Winchester all produce a number of really good 6.5 Creedmoor and 308 Winchester factory ammunition options that are suitable for hunting. Most of the really popular bullet styles designed for hunting are available in those cartridges as well, like the Barnes TTSX, Berger VLD, Hornady ELDX, GMX Interlock, SST, the Nosler Acubon, Ballistic Tip, E-Tip, and Partition, the Remington Core Lock, and the Winchester PowerPoint. Now, prices and availability vary, but ammunition for both cartridges is very common. I would say that in normal times, the 308 is a little bit easier to find and a little bit less expensive than the 6.5 Creedmoor, though. Reloading components for both cartridges are also widely available, and there's plenty of 264 caliber and 308 caliber bullets of various weights and styles to choose from. Now, along with the massive number of ammunition choices available in both cartridges, there are also lots of quality rifles manu manufactured in 6.5 Creedmoor and 308 Winchester. Just like with ammo, though, 308 rifles are more common, but 6.5 rifles are still really easy to find. To an even greater degree than most other gun manufacturers, Ruger has really gotten behind the 6.5 Creedmoor and offers their American FTW Hunter, 
Hawkeye long range number one and precision rifles in both cartridges. Uh, additionally, the Remington Model 700, Browning Expo, Mossberg Patriot, Savage Access, Weatherby Vanguard, and Winchester Model 70 are all bolt-action rifles available in both cartridges. Now, the 308 Winchester is also pretty common in semi-auto sporting rifles like the AR-10 and M1A. The 6.5 Creedmoor is also available in the AR-10 platform, but there aren't many other semi-auto rifles available in that cartridge. Now, there are some exceptions, but since both are short-action rifle cartridges, rifles of the same model chambered in each cartridge are usually virtually identical to each other, and depending on the exact model, 22-inch and 24-inch barrels are very common. So which one is right for you? Well, do you primarily hunt deer or hogs in an area where long-distance shots past 200 yards are uncommon and bullet drop is less of a concern? Both will work just fine under these circumstances, and there isn't much of a difference between them ballistically inside of 300 yards. Go with the 308 if you want the cheapest or easiest to find ammo, or with the Creedmoor if you want a lighter recoiling gun. I personally lean towards the 308 here, but that's just me, and there's really no reason not to use the 6.5 Creedmoor. It's really a matter of six on one hand and a half dozen on the other. Pick your poison, they'll both work great if you do your part as a hunter for those situations. Now, what about if you're looking for the cartridge better suited for longer range hunting for a game like mule deer or pronghorn in open country, where you might need to take a shot at several hundred yards? Once again, they'll both work really well in this role. The 308 is a good choice for this sort of hunting, but this is where the 6.5 Creedmoor really starts to shine due to its advantages in terms of bullet drop and wind drift. Plus, it still carries enough energy out to several hundred yards to take deer-sized game without any issues. Do you want a cartridge uh, well-suited for bigger game like elk or moose? Neither would be my first choice, but they will work with good shot placement and with good ammo. Of the two, uh, I really strongly lean towards the 308 Winchester here due to the advantage the cartridge has in terms of frontal surface area as well as retained energy under 200 yards. Now, if you decide to hunt larger game with the Creedmoor, it's extremely important to use well-constructed bullets, be very careful with your shot placement, and only take shots at shorter range, say under 250 yards. Additionally, I also recommend being very careful with your shot angles and only take shots on really big game that are broadside or very slightly quartering. Now, while those caveats are most important with the 6.5 Creedmoor, they apply to both cartridges, but just to a lesser degree with the 308. Now, what about if you're sensitive to recoil and you want a uh, lighter recoiling cartridge? Well, that's easy. Go with the 6.5 Creedmoor. It has significantly less recoil than the 308, especially in a lighter rifle. The cartridge is especially well suited to new, small framed, and or recoil shy hunters. Indeed, the 6.5 Creedmoor is extremely popular for children to use for deer hunting because it's so effective on deer and it has such a mild recoil. Now, do you want the round that is best suited for target shooting out past 400 yards or so in a precision rifle? Both will work and have excellent reputations for precision shooting, but this is another area where I think the 6.5 Creedmoor really shines because of the advantages it has with trajectory, wind drift, and recoil. Now, like I've said many times, the 6.5 Creedmoor and the 308 Winchester are both excellent rifle cartridges. While the differences between them are pretty big in certain areas, one isn't really better than the other on the whole. Carefully evaluate your needs as a hunter based upon the circumstances you foresee using the cartridge in, get a good hunting rifle chambered in the cartridge you select, learn to shoot it well, use quality ammunition, and you will be all set for most hunting situations. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Just click that red subscribe button below to make sure you don't miss out on any of my new videos about hunting gear reviews, strategies, and more. For more detailed information on some of the other most popular hunting cartridges, click on the link in the description below to get a free ebook I have written on the best hunting calibers. Now I'm gonna turn it over to you guys. Which cartridge do you prefer? The 6.5 Creedmoor? or the 308 Winchester? What game have you successfully taken with them? Let me know by leaving a comment on this video right now. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and good hunting.